Welcome to YouTube Excel Lookup Function Series number seven. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on my YouTube channel and click on my college website link and download the workbook Excel Lookup Function Series one to fifteen. Hey, number six here. We're going to look up the lookup function. We've looked at V lookup. We looked at tons of those. We looked at H up. But let's look at look up. Guess what? It was the first. This function came before all of these. The guys who invented spreadsheets wanted to do their taxes, so they put in a lookup function. Now it's a little bit different, uh, and the you'd pretty much never use this or H lookup because V lookup will do everything, and most tables are vertical lookup. You only use H lookup when your boss insists that the table is horizontal instead of vertical. But lookup has an interesting feature. Now, in a VLOOKUP table, we always look up in the first column here and then select from columns to the right. But with the lookup function that we're going to see, you can actually highlight any one range and any other range anywhere else. It doesn't have to be to the right. So that's a good use for the lookup function. All right, let's see how to do this. I want to do exactly that. I want this column right here, and I want to look up something to the left. I'm going to say equals look up, equals look up. And there's actually two different types here. There's a lookup value, and then a vector, and a vector, which we're going to use. Let's try um, this value right here. That's our lookup value, comma. The lookup vector, and this is where you can highlight one range, and then anywhere else on the sheet, highlight another range. I'm going to highlight this right here, because that is our lookup. Comma, and then the result vector, which you can't really see right here, that just means, hey, the wherever whatever range that has to be the same size, the same size, but anywhere else. It can be to the left, like we have it here, or to the right, or horizontal, or however. Close parentheses, and then Control Enter. Sure enough, 60 meter, that's boom four. I have data validation on this cell right here. I'm going to click the drop down and point to, ooh, 110. What boom should the product, uh, customer get? Boom number eight. Hey, we don't even have, oh, yes, we do, right there. Now, why in the world do we have it sorted this way? Wait a second. Boom A comes before boom 9 or 2 or 3. Four. What is that? The reason why is because when you use the, the lookup function, you do not have the option to say, like with vertical lookup and H lookup, you don't have the option to say exact match or approximate match. It just is approximate match, which means that this first vector right here must be sorted in ascending order. Now, when you have a combination of letters and numbers, of course, is space 1 comes before is space 2. So that's one drawback to the lookup. We have to sort it in this funny order. That is why in other videos that I've shot and coming up later in this series, I'll show you a better alternative to the lookup, and that is to use index and match. Nevertheless, this is a use for the lookup. And I want to look at another use for the lookup. And I want to do that by just highlighting a little, uh, just a four cells right here, Control C. And then I'll come down right uh, here and right click Paste special, and I want to say transpose because I want to show you another use for the the lookup, and that is you can actually have one range horizontal and another range vertical as long as they're the same size. So I'm going to scroll over here a little bit, maybe right. I'm going to actually highlight that. Control C, click right there. Control V, and then del delete this right here and start over again. Equals look up. And what we're going to do here is we're going to use our two vectors, but one's going to be horizontal and one's going to be vertical. Hey, the, the value we're going to look up is this right here, comma. The lookup vector, if I can scroll over here and get these four, one, two, three, four, then comma. And now I need the lookup. 
and we'll go one, two, three, four. They have to be the same size. And close parentheses. Boop, it still finds the eight. If I were to change this, and I have to be careful here, if I change this to 160, you see it changes to nine. So that's another use for the lookup. When you have one range that is sitting horizontal and another range that is sitting vertical. Now I want to look at the last, uh, one last example for lookup. I'm going to click in cell F5 and type 1, enter, 20, enter, 30, enter. Then I'm going to click up here and type rad, enter, cool, enter, super. Excel is talking to me. I'm going to turn that off. And then now I'm down here. I'm going to do my lookup value, 11. And then I want to do the lookup and show you the uh, final or equals look. And I want to show you this one right here. Lookup value and array. This is similar to VLOOKUP or HLOOKUP. And by the way, if you can use a VLOOKUP, then use that instead of this. This is a little bit limiting. But nevertheless, <coughs> we can look this value up, comma, and the array is just like this. It works similar to vertical lookup close parentheses and enter. There it is, 11 returns rad because it bumps into the bigger value and jumps back there. Now I'm going to do 20. It's going to go cool. If I do 29, if I, it does cool. If I do 29.99999999, it's still cool, but as soon as I get to 30, it goes to the next one. Then if I type in 100, it's still on super. So that is the uh, that version right there. It's the array. And this is called the vector version. It's called the array version. All right, we'll see you next lookup function series.